hard thing to teach. So this next example, again, if what I'm explaining to you because you're talking is confusing, if you can at least remember this, this can help you out. Because this is another thing that um, I will ask. Another like, type of question I'll ask is, hey, here's a polar point. That's given r and theta. Can you tell me what that is in rectangular format? And you say, oh, yeah, we had those notes that are right over there. Rectangular format was basically x, y. And if you guys remember, the way that we wrote that from the unit circle we looked at was x cosine of theta, oops, I'm sorry, r cosine of theta, r sine of theta. Right? You guys remember, remember we did that? I erased it now, but remember it was right there? Like that, we can represent any point with r cosine of theta, r sine of theta, right? Because that's the r cosine of theta, sine of theta is like the point on the unit circle, and you just multiply it by r, which is the different radiuses or radii, right? Yes? No? Oh, talk. Okay. So let's just write this out and let's see where this point is. Because the reflection, guys, gets confusing for a lot of students. So I would just say, hey, let's convert it here. Because as long as you're familiar, as long as you're okay with the unit circle, like this isn't hard to graph. Um, so that's the sine of pi over four. All right, so let's see what we get here. This is negative two. This is square root of two over two. This is negative two um, square root of two over two. All right, so let's graph that. So again, the square root of 2 over 2, that's going to be roughly like 1 and change, right? So if we're at 1 and change, and we're at 1 and change, looks like I'm kind of like probably somewhere around there, right? My radius, my circles are really badly drawn. But if you would agree with me, if you're at 1 and change and 1 and change, like they're going to meet on that circle right there, right? So Yeah, it'd be down here. Thank you. Both negative down here, so it'd be down here. Right? Good catch. So that would be my point. So if I needed to plot the point, that's good. But now, again, what if I need to find different representations of this point? So first of all, the easy way to find different representations is just to find coterminal angles here. So if I'm just adding and subtracting 2 pi, in terms of force, that's the same thing as adding and subtracting. No, close. 8 pi over 4. So the easy way to find multiple terms here is just to keep on adding 8 pi over 4. So you could say, oh, OK, well, that's negative 2. You know, 9 pi over 4. You could do 17 pi over 4. You could subtract them, which would be negative 2, um, negative 7 pi over 4. Right? And that's going to give you all these same, rep same angles. Now, what about the one the radius is positive? So you guys got to think again. Here is your angle. But since it's a negative radius, what technically has been happening is it's being reflected. Both x and y's have been reflected. So it's a reflection about the origin. So could I think of this as like reflecting about the origin? Doom, doom. So that means my positive radius is over here. And does that positive radius, positive radius look like it has a pi over 4? Yes. And what would that angle be? Or oh, sorry. So that would be my, sorry. Negative 2 pi over 4. OK. So anyways, I don't know why I'm going with my positive radius. Here is my angle. That is my angle with the positive radius. Here's the one with the negative radius. So but the reason why I'm trying to find this point is I just want to make sure. Here is my angle pi over 4. That means this one has a radius of, or a reference angle of pi over 4. What is, what is this angle just directly finding this angle? Or what is that angle right there? 5 pi over 4. So could I just quickly find that by saying 2 comma 5 pi over 4? Or could I do the negative? 2 comma negative 3 pi over 4, right? Because it's pi away from there. And there you go, guys. There's four answers. And then you guys would probably have one that does not work. And you have to figure out which one doesn't work. Yeah.
How does that not work on the bottom again? But that, that one the last one, the negative two, two negative three pi of four. So, so you go. The last problem. That one. How does the negative two pi not work? Because negative, because it's it's two pi. Um, because it's pi, which is over here, mm -hmm. but it's negative, so it's a reflection. So actually, that's over there. Oh, so it has to be that dot there. Yeah, it has to be this dot. That's okay. the dot. All right, why don't you guys try to see if you guys can do the last one? Do the last one real quick. Yep. 